The thing a writer will always tell you is you must write about what you know. And that's advice that must be heeded. You start from what you know. But the truth is we all know more than we think we know. What we know is not, are not just the basic facts of our life. Because sometimes we have secret longings and yearnings. We want our life to be different. We wish the world were a different place. And part of what you're doing when you're writing is you're describing your own experience of the world, but you're also making the world different. It is a wonderful thing to write because you're like a kind of god. You are creating this world, your world, and not and yet not quite your world. Writing is always reality up one up a notch. But that doesn't mean it's got to be magic. There is an idea around that when we use our imagination, and imagination is everything, that we must go onto another planet, or we must write about magic. There's probably too much magic around. There is magic in reality if you can unlock it, if you can release it. When we use our imaginations, we can still use our imaginations here about this world. So, for example, the, the novelist Dickens describes a fog, ordinary fog, moving down the road like an animal. It's a wonderful picture of the fog, as it were, with a life and spirit of its own. So that's, that's the magic of the imagination being employed here in the world that we know. Look. That's the most important advice, too. Look. Look at the world. And listen to the world. Think of how... When a person, you know, even just the smallest things that people do, how they carry a briefcase, how a woman carries a bag, how a man will open his briefcase. What's in it? What's he carrying it that way for? What's he protecting it from? What, what's he afraid of? All these things you know, these are the things that you actually look at all the time, but we forget to look, to look at them. And writing is very much about remembering. We remember both before we write and we remember while we write. And if you relax when you're writing, and that's the important thing, don't rush it, enjoy it, it's fun. And if you relax and let the thing take its own time, you will discover that you are remembering things that you didn't know you knew. And I find that's one of the most wonderful things about writing, that things happen. I never knew I knew that. I never knew I had that thought. I never knew I'd seen that person. I never knew I knew such a person. And if you let the words take you where, the, where they want to go, and don't forget writing is about words, first and foremost it's about words. And words have their own life. And if you let the words take you where the words want to go, though sometimes you've got to stop them, it's always about balance, let the words lead you but don't let them lead you too far. But if you let them lead you a little bit, they will take you to places you never knew you were going to go to. One of the reasons I adore writing is I wake up in the morning, I go to my desk, and on the good days, I don't know what I'm going to write about, I don't know what's going to happen, but magically, something happens. Characters I didn't know I was going to invent appear on the page. They meet one another, they fall in love, they have a fight. I didn't know any of this was going to happen. And it can happen to any, anybody, and we're all, we all could be a writer if we, if we let it. We all have language, we all have a vivid life. If we allow language and life to come together, all sorts of wonderful things like that can happen. Don't take any notice of people who say, can I read what you're writing before you've finished? Writing should be, I think, a little secret till you're ready. It's yours, privately yours, until you let it out into the world. And sometimes letting people, sometimes letting people read your writing before you're ready spoils it. So keep it to yourself and then when you're ready, let it go out into the world and be proud of it and independent. It's you. It's your voice. Read a lot. This, is, this, this too is important. Um, it, it can't help you in the, act, in the act of writing, but it can help you before you write. Mm. Any good writer will have read a great deal. Read books. Don't copy the books, but hear the music of other books. You will have favourite writers, and think about why they are your favourite writers. Sometimes we think it's the story, but more often than not, it's the music of their words and the music of their thoughts. And let that music... Get into your music. Let their language affect your language. We, all, we are all, if we're any good, um, original and independent, but we don't get to be original and independent without having heard other people's originality and independence. And the music of language is very important here. But I stress more than anything else the need to enjoy it. Take pleasure in it. Don't rush it. Sometimes people write as though they've got to get it finished. Good, it won't feel like homework. If it feels like homework, you're not enjoying it. 
Let it take its own time. Let it have its own life. Be a friend of the words. Let the words be a friend of, of you. And, and please remember what I say about, about, about the imagination and magic and how the imagination is not about wizards and fantasy. It's about seeing what's wonderful and surprising and original in the actual world that you live in the world that you describe, the world that you know, and the world that you change just the slightest bit every time you write about it. And that's the pleasure that you give to your readers, because ideally you will have readers, that the world that they know too doesn't look the same once you've described it to them.